the screenshot is. Like, it's screenshot material. Oh, now I don't want to move. But I got to. <laughs> This video is about as much of a mess as me. Uh, those who don't know, I dyed my hair. It's, it's looking pretty good. You're not eating your McDonald's. I'm in a minute, I'm just filming my intro first. <laughs> so, sure, got, you can you be quiet a second? Thank you. So, well, I forgot to do an intro video. Okay, uh, doing it now. Very true, I am. Yeah, thank you. A voice in my head that everyone can hear, so it's not really a voice in my head. I always in your head. Oh no, I'm going crazy. Oh wait, I got discharged because the mental health team in London shit. Anyway, enjoy my round. Hope you don't mind. I'm gonna go and enjoy my McDonald's. Uh, I'm gonna phone my mum quickly. You all right? Yeah, are you? I just wanna stop telling you roughly playing on coming down. Um, I'm Alright, and I was just trying to know when to set my alarms for and stuff. This video is a rant video, by the way. That was just because I need to arrange, like, tomorrow. But for this video, we kind of also need a bath and a serenity. So I'm gonna call the group chat. What up? Right, you are in the video, by the way. I'm ranting about the crisis, GM. But before I get started, I want you to kind of explain thoughts, feelings, etc. Fucking crisis, team weird. The gist of what really happened. Guys, I'm being Shane Dawson. Oh, I'm filming video. Shut the fuck up. You probably couldn't even hear that either. So I'm probably sounding horrible then. So today, this video. I feel like I need to add this note in before I actually start this video. I got really wound up by the fact that the home treatment team lied to me two days in a row and it pissed me off so I ranted about it. I'm not saying that all of the London services are bad. I'm not saying that I didn't don't appreciate the swipe hard. Um those of you don't know I'm actually a massive supporter of the London services apart from the inpatient stuff because that was shit and fucked up. Whole of a story. This video is just me moaning about this current situation because it is really shitty what happened and you know like they cancelled an appointment after the time it was already supposed to be at. It wasn't even me cancelling the appointment, it was them cancelling it, which is like massive I don't know, it's just a bit fucked up really. Yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to put this in to explain this video. I don't want it to come across like I hate the services, because I don't. I don't hate services. I'm not anti NHS. Made a whole live stream about that, I got that. Took the backlash for making that live stream, because <laughs> he was uh, obsessive. Not gonna lie. But yeah, that's kind of felt like I had to put this in. Uh, I'm gonna put my camera on chart and get ready to go home to my mother's tomorrow. So as a lot of you guys know, if you have been following my live streams and talking to me on social media, you will know I was supposed to see the home treatment team today, well yesterday, Thursday, before I went home to my mom's for Christmas to come up with some sort of plan and put a little bit of an action plan in place so I knew what I was doing and what was going on because that really helps me knowing what's going on, having a structure, having you know just a general idea of what's going on, which is what the plan was, that was the plan. But in the words of the home treatment team yesterday, they was too busy, which was fine. I wasn't in crisis yesterday, I was like, okay, we'll come and see you tomorrow, being today. I said, fine, that's okay. It annoyed me a bit because I was like, we made this agreement over a week ago, but whatever. So we get to today and we're sat here and I was, it got to eight o'clock and I was in a group call with Beth and Serenity and I was like, they should have been here an hour because they do home visits between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. So I called at 8 p.m. my phone, the home treatment team, I was like, could you tell me if anyone's gonna come? I was told on the phone earlier today. So I'd focused on the phone earlier today saying, hey, are you gonna come out today? I said, yeah. So I called up and the woman who was there was like, oh yeah, no, we tried to get hold of you. You didn't answer. I was like, no one called my flat. I feel like just to show you what I mean by like no one tries to call a flat, I need to actually show you attention. What I mean by no one actually tried to um, call my flat is no one tries to call the flat. We've got a literal phone and we've got a call button for the flat. Physically, they have my mobile number. Like no one tried to get in contact with me and it was like, what the fuck, you know? You said you was going to be coming out to see me, so why didn't you, you know? You could have just told me. Like if someone told me I wouldn't have cared. Like, that's the thing. It's why they kept reassuring me, like, oh yeah, we're gonna come out, we're gonna come out, and they didn't. That's what's irritated me about it all. 
Like it's literal call button outside my building so you can call my flat. No one tried to call my phone. No one sent me a message. No one did anything to try and get hold of me. So that was a load of crap on their part. So they didn't they didn't try and get hold of me. And then she was like, oh well, we're discharging you anyway. So what did you want from us? I was like, a plan. I was like, I was told I was getting a plan. I was like, I knew I was gonna be getting discharged sooner or later because I'm going home to my mom's for two weeks. But I don't have a plan. No one gave me a plan. Well, you saw a consultant on Tuesday. Yeah. Who sent me back to my GP and told me I was gonna get given a plan on Thursday? Like it's Friday and we haven't got a plan. I was like, I don't know what you want from me and and there was a whole heated moment i just turned around and said i was like well what does it take so i was like do i need to go and top myself before anyone will listen to me i was like why should, why is it fair that i have to keep getting to that point before anyone steps in and she then she tried to end the call she's like i'm going to go i need to go i need to go and it's like yeah because you don't know i'm fucking right in this situation it just annoys it angers me because when i come back down from from my mom's i'm gonna end up back under the home treatment team because i still don't have a plan and it'll be like oh well, i've still got a you know, see the same people who discharged me. I mean, my confidence in them has like, been completely knocked because that's two days in a row they've cancelled on me. And I, like, yesterday, last night, I could have done the support. My PTSD was acting up. I was having flashbacks. I was dissociating. I was struggling last night, but I, I was like, what's the point in phoning to get told I was too busy to speak to you? And then I was like, oh, well, I'm going to see them today anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then I didn't because they didn't try, they didn't even try to. It's like, I should have seen it coming. I should have seen this coming. They wasn't going to support me or try and support me. Like, I literally should have seen this coming because it always happens. It literally always happens. But it's so fucking shit. This video is a mess. This video is just me moaning about stuff. It's tidy in my bedroom. I tidy my bedroom for this appointment. And because I'm going to my mom's and, you know, yeah. So yeah, I got a little bit annoyed, but I, no, it has annoyed me. I'm, I've now got no support again, no numbers to call. I can call single point access, who are the people you would have heard in the phone call in the PTSD flashback video. And what's on the phone about that? I was like, all they do is phone the police and ambulance. I was like, considering the police are some of the reasons why I have so many flashbacks, why would I want them getting called? And why would I want that? Just what would it achieve? What would it real realistically achieve in that situation? Because I. I don't know how many of you guys have watched this movie before, if you haven't you know what I'm talking about but a lot of the flashbacks I have are related to hearing noises and hearing loud bangs from where I used to have police turning up at my flat all the time. Whoa! Future me button again. Who would have guessed? Um, I didn't mention it very well. But basically, my flashbacks with the police are where they used to knock on my door a lot and they used to kick it down a lot. And where they used to turn up a lot and where I got assaulted by officers where I was handcuffed, where I was dragged out kicking and screaming, where they turned up for no reason where I got. So I, got, I have a lot of anxiety around. I'm on a lot of medication to try, to try and calm the paranoia down from it. And it's a very real, raw thing. It's what causes a lot of my panic attacks. Like, I can't go out the flat alone. And, and what even when I do, like, people who have been on video call me, like Beth and, like, um, Serenity and Jordan, have seen how paranoid I get where I'm looking around hot for I see a police guy and panicking. I, I have to have my medication to go out because of the amount of anxiety that the police have caused. So that's why that, like, relevant um and the reason i was talking to the christ team is because it was getting worse and i don't want that to get worse i want that to improve that's the one thing that my health i need to improve i can live with feeling suicidal i can live with being depressed i can live with anxiety i can't live with constant flashbacks and constant dissociation that's the one thing i can't live with and that is what i was trying to get across in the video i didn't actually mention this that's why i'm adding it in now hi i'm gonna let past me get back to the video but yeah hi Bye. It caused a lot of issues for me and I do have flashbacks to all of that and I'm like I'm paying in January I'm going to start paying for EMDR therapy again because I found it really helpful this year. The NHS waiting list is too long for it so I'm, I'm willing to pay for that. I'm literally going to pay for it and at this rate I'm going to end up paying for the fucking therapy as well because I'm so sick of getting told oh you'll be quiet and then having to get to a point of crisis before people are like oh crap there's actually a problem we need to have a plan and the thing is I got told I was gonna get given a plan like if they hadn't mentioned a plan to begin with it wouldn't bother me but the fact that he was like oh we're gonna come up with a plan we'll have a plan in place for you when you go home for when you come back you'll have a plan and to then then be like well we wasn't gonna we was gonna discharge really like, i know that you're literally just leaving me again to get to another crisis point why is that fair how is that fair tell me i like sorry i had to have this rant i'm sorry i was moaning on the phone to beth and serenity earlier on today they, they, they would witness my rant while i went to asda i'm sorry <laughs> sorry serenity i just had to and I felt like making this video because to get it off my chest. So yeah, that's the update of my life. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more rants or talks or story times, let me know in the comments. If you have any subject videos you'd like me to make, let me know down below. If you'd like, if you have any questions also, let me know them and I will answer them like during <laughs> at some point before Christmas. I make videos every single day. Um, yeah. 
has to out dry thing. I don't even know. And that just doesn't work. I, didn't, I missed. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I quit. I, I just quit. I'm gonna get down off my desk. I'm literally sat on my desk to film this. Because I am. So yeah. Bye. So you find your way back home.